Because your Sabbath days will always change. And it's also letting you know that the first and the last day, um, because it said even unto the morrow after the seventh right. Sabbath, showing that the last day is a gathering exactly as well. And it's a ceremony as well. Because what you're doing is you're repeating the same thing over again. Mm. You're going back, you're taking your first fruits back again to the priest, and you're repeating the same thing again. Mm. You do it the first day, because that's the first fruits of what? Your wheat harvest. So you still have to give the first fruits of that also. And whatever else comes in with your wheat, you have to give that also. But the main thing was the wheat. Like how in, in, um, in the first day, the main thing was your barley. But also flax is, 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 is around too. Mm -hmm. And certain other uh, uh, fruits and everything are around too. Mm -hmm. So that's why you had to do it the first week. And then you went back seven weeks later on that 50th day and you did it again. So whatever is at that time that is ready, you bring that to the most high then again exactly. whatever is ready you bring it. Like and during that time you got figs. You got a lot of things during that time, you know. Figs, you got some uh grapes and stuff like that. So it's a lot so and once you understand farming and, and what's that's why like I said, you read the packet of them seeds, it'll tell you what's what's to be planted and where you, mm -hmm. where in the country can be planted at. Because every state is different. Mm -hmm. Like every state is different. Like, if you want the best apples, New York has the best apples. New York and New Jersey. New York has the best apples. Because the climate, the, the, the climate of upstate New York is perfect for apples. But they say New Jersey is the garden state. So what does that mean? Right. <laughs> so what does that mean? You're right. But what does that mean? Why? What does that mean? Isn't it referring to some sports thing? No. It, no. New Jersey is a beautiful state. Okay. It, it is like a garden, but what does that mean? Do they specialize in apples? No. They specialize in a lot of other things, though, but not apples. Like, you have apples, like, all upstate New York, mm -hmm. apple oh, orchards. Mm -hmm. Straight apple orchards. Mm -hmm. Like, like they've just been there. Mm -hmm. Like, they've been there. Like, that's just where they were. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, coming to this land, this is just where they were. Yeah, we got a lot of, we got you know. A lot of apples. Oh, you from upstate? Yeah, you see? Like, and they, it's not like they were imported there. No, they've been there. You know, when you go to those farms, they're these hundreds of years old. You know, their grandparents, grandparents raped the Indians and took their land and did all this and did all that. It's, that's the story. <laughs> They'll change it up. But it, that's what it is. You understand? But remember, a garden can mean any type of garden. Doesn't only have to be like, Remember, you have gardens that have like a lot of flowers and plants. Mm -hmm. Jersey's a beautiful state. A That's why it was called a garden state for a reason. You know, when you're not in the city part anyway. <laughs> when you're not in the brick city. Exactly. You go go to upper northern New Jersey. They've got certain orchards up there too. It's pretty good. You know, so but New and York. Over here in ten sixty. In ten sixty when you go, they have apple trees. You can actually go, but normally the birds kind of right. It. You know, so, so you gotta beat the birds to it. <laughs> but you have like a lot of you have like like blackberries and, and, and berry trees out in Jersey. You know, it's mm -hmm. good. They got this. Jersey's good for something. I'm not living here for no reason, not. <laughs> so, you know, it's something about Jersey I like. Besides yeah, I, the cheap rent. I told Atzaya I, I peeped the name. You know, apostles in New Jerusalem. You know. Man. People, people don't know. They used to call Jersey New Jerusalem. Like, hey. right, exactly. <laughs> in the nineties. In the nineties. Yeah. But, but you know what? That's kind of what I kind of did too. <laughs> <laughs> only, only you and your Charlotte peep that. Only you and your Charlotte peep that. I peeped it or something like that. You know, only. Well, I, oh, he said he peeped it too. Yeah. But no. But uh, of course, it was based off the scriptures and revelations, mm. the twenty-first chapter. But it was because of that too. You know what I'm saying? It was based off Revelation the twenty first chapter, but of course, because we're in Jersey, it's perfect. It's perfect for the name. We <laughs> shall peep that right away, because you know about the artifacts. They were pushing yeah. in Jeru, you know, the artifacts. Mm -hmm. They were really pushing that, you know. So finish reading that up. Verse seventeen. Ye shall bring out of your habitation two wave loaves right. of two tenth dills. Right. They shall be a fine flour. They shall be baking with leaven. They are the first fruits of the unto the Lord. So these can be baking with leaven according to the first ones where they couldn't be. Mm -hmm. See that? 
Because now you got to, you don't, you don't did the first sacrifice for the first day. So now these can be bacon with leaven. You understand? You need something, sis? You good? Oh, tell them to. The time? Oh, you have oh. one on your pocket, huh? Don't say nothing. Cut. I can't Cut. see. I'm kind of blind. 1248. Cut. Cut. Okay. Then it's early. So read on. <laughs> well. <laughs> Verse 18. Verse 18. And ye shall offer with the bread seven lambs without blemish right. of the first year. Right. And one young bullock and two rams. They shall be for a burnt offering unto Yahweh with their meat offering and their drink offerings, even an offering made by fire of sweet Savior unto the Lord. Right, and even when you go into that 50th day, right? Mm -hmm. When you read it, and it talks about the, the Feast of Weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, the Feast of Weeks ends where? Around, like, the first or second week of July. It's always going to fall around that time period. You understand? And, you know, this is the little book that we got. You know, goes into how you determine it. Question. But then how you determine it, and then you see how what what stuff actually grows during that time period, it just links up. It's the farming aspect of it that you have to deal with. It's not a, like a set date. It's more or less the farming aspect of it. Yes, you got a question, sis? I didn't ask. You guys have always celebrated Pentecost, though, right? Yes. The 50th day. We've always did, but it was a certain time period where we were only celebrating the 50th day. When you're reading the scriptures, you're supposed to celebrate the first day as well as the 50th day. Because it's, this, this more or less is, uh, it's, it's, it's more or less a harvest celebration. Opposed to the other feast days, they had some type of historical aspect or some meaning to it from another nation trying to attack us or things like that. You understand? This is more or less for the harvest. This is more or less for our, our food, our food source. You know, we had to do this in order to maintain that connection with the Most High, so our foods could be blessed. To where the dedication of the altar, where that come from? During the time of the Maccabees, mm -hmm. Purim came from what? The time period of Vesta. You understand? The Passover, you know, came from what? The time period in Egypt. So it was different things. All right. So read on. Verse twenty-two. Wait, I'm sorry. Um, verse twenty-one. And ye shall proclaim on the self same day that it may be in holy convocation unto you. Ye shall do no servile work therein. It shall be a statue forever in all your dwellings throughout your generation. Read on. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make clean the riddance of the corners of thy field. So stop right there, right? Because... You read talks about it should be a holy convocation. Mm -hmm. There shall be no servile work therein. Okay. You notice with the first day was what? You just did your ceremony. Mm -hmm. The fiftieth day you do your ceremony and you have that holy convocation. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay. So it's definitely a severe it's a serious thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you you done ended what? The feast of harvest. So now your crops will be blessed. So you mm -hmm. come together and you celebrate. Okay. And this is where, like I said, Gad got those ceremonies from straight the scriptures. Mm -hmm. It was straight in the scriptures. Read on. Um, thou shalt not make clean rid um thou shalt not make clean riddance of the corners of thy field when thou reapest, neither shalt thou gather any gleaning of thy harvest, thou shalt leave them unto the poor. And to the stranger. Right, like during the time of Ruth, like I was bringing out earlier. Right. When, what happened was this. Whenever we, whenever we gathered in all of our, our crops, we always left the corners, the four corners. Con. And when you had your wheelbarrow, whatever <laughs> fell off that wheelbarrow, you just left it off. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it was for our people mm -hmm. that was poor. And it was for the strangers. You understand? Con. So you definitely left your four corners. And you left anything that gleaned. Now, does a white man do that? Not uh -huh. at all. The white man takes everything. Mm -hmm. You don't even want to leave the insects anything. The white man is a savage. Mm -hmm. You understand? And they don't do this. Left over, he throws in the garbage. Yeah, and that, that also. So, you know, understand understand something, right? You know, we had a system set up. Cut. 
Yabba Shem Yabba Shem We had a system set up that was like a welfare system. And we established that system. And in the kingdom of heaven, that's going to be established again. Well, we, the service is done now, so. That was, that was, the, closing, that was, that was the last scripture. So, mm. cut. so that's just a little something, a little breakdown of the uh, first fruits and how, how you set it up, how you determine the days, how you count the days, and everything that goes with it.